Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and this is an interview prep for manual QA engineers that are entry level, meaning you don't really have any real world experience. This is usually prepping for your first job. This will be a two part video. This is part one. We'll start with a question and then give an example answer. Let's get started. What is the role of a manual QA engineer? Example answer. The role of a manual QA engineer is to ensure the quality of software by identifying bugs, inconsistencies, and areas for improvement through manual testing and involves understanding requirements, creating and executing test cases, and collaborating with developers and stakeholders to deliver a reliable product that meets user expectations. And now, why this question is asked. Interviewers want to know if you understand the core responsibilities of the role. Question number two, what are the different types of testing? Example answer, there are several types of testing including functional testing, which is ensuring a software functions as per requirements, regression testing, verifying that new changes haven't affected existing functionality, integration testing, testing the interaction between different modules, exploratory testing, ad hoc testing to discover unexpected issues, User Acceptance Testing, or UAT, is ensuring the product meets users' needs before release. Why this question is asked? This question assesses your foundational knowledge of testing types and their applications. Question 3. How do you prioritize test cases when under time constraints? Example answer. When time is limited, I prioritize test cases based on critical functionality, which is ensuring that core functionalities are tested first. Next, high risk areas, focusing on parts of the application with higher chances of failure. Customer impact, testing features that are most visible or impactful to users and lastly, defect prone areas. Revisiting areas with a history of issues. Why this question is asked. Interviewers are evaluating your ability to manage time and focus on the most critical aspects of testing. Question four, what is a test case and what are its components? Example answer, a test case it's a documented set of conditions, inputs, and expected results used to verify a specific feature or functionality of the software. Its main components are test case ID, a unique identifier, test description, a brief description of the test, preconditions, any requirements or setup needed before executing the test, steps to execute, detailed steps to perform the test, expected result, the anticipated outcome, actual result, the observed outcome, filled in after execution, and status, whether the test passed or failed. Why this question is asked. The answer reveals your knowledge of test case structure and your ability to communicate test details clearly. Quick break. If you're enjoying the video so far, please like and subscribe. And if you need help on your software testing journey, check out my website, thetestinglead.com. I have books and courses to help you along your journey. Also, I have a PDF you can download with all of these questions and answers for you to practice. Now, back to the video. Question five, 
How would you report a bug? Example answer. When reporting a bug, I ensure the report is clear and detailed. It typically includes summary, a concise description of the issue, steps to reproduce, detailed steps to replicate the bug, expected versus actual results, what was expected and what actually happened, severity and priority, the impact and urgency of fixing the bug, environmental details, information about the platform, browser, or version where the bug occurred, screenshots or logs, supporting evidence to illustrate the issue. Why this question is asked. This demonstrates your attention to detail and ability to communicate effectively with developers. Question six, can you explain the software development life cycle? Example answer, the software development life cycle consists of the following phases. Requirements analysis, where you gather and analyze user needs. Design, where you're planning the architecture and design of the software. Development, writing a code for the application. Testing, verifying the software against requirements. Deployment, releasing the software to users. Maintenance, ongoing updates and bug fixes. Why this question is asked. This shows your understanding of how QA fits into the broader software development process. Question seven, what would you do if you disagreed with a developer about whether an issue is a bug? Example answer, I would approach the situation collaboratively. First, I gather evidence like steps to reproduce and logs to support my findings. Then I'd refer to the requirements or specifications to determine whether the issue deviates from the expected behavior. If needed, I'd involve the product owner or team lead to reach a consensus. Why this question is asked. The goal is to assess your ability to handle disagreements professionally while maintaining a focus on quality. Question eight, what tools have you used for testing and bug tracking? Example answer, I have experience using tools like Jira for tracking bugs and managing projects, Postman for API testing, TestRail for managing test cases. I'm also open to learning new tools as required by the role. Why this question is asked. The interviewer wants to know your technical capabilities and adaptability to new tools. So that's it for part one. Remember, you can get a PDF download of all these questions and answers on my website, thetestinglead.com. Next up, you should watch this video here or this one over here. And most importantly, don't forget this, learn something new today.